Honestly, do I want to see that when I open my phone? Are you joking me? Does this prove who is in the world is secretly hooking up? Ugh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do my iPhone 6s phone tour. Phone tour. It's a it's a phone tour. Today I'm going to be doing my what's on my iPhone 6s video for you, so you can see what I have what I'm hiding. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna be doing for you. If you want to find out what I have on my phone, then keep on watching because I know it's gonna be a very interesting one. It's not that interesting, but you should definitely carry on watching. So this is my iPhone 6S. It is the rose gold version. Um, I have a phone case on at the moment, which is from Skinny Dip. It is cats and it is literally, the cutest thing ever. I'm in love with it. Um, I do have a few other phone cases, but this is the one I have on at the moment. Um, I also have a pop socket on it so that you can hold onto the phone so you don't drop it. I do have a glass screen protector on it um, because I did crack the screen. I had it for like four or five months and I cracked the corner on the way to get my exam results and then it fell out of my pocket at the train station at home um, on the concrete floor and shattered so we got it fixed at Apple. That is now why I have a glass screen protector on it. Right so this is my lock screen it is of the bay Harry obviously. <laughs> this is literally just a picture from Tumblr that I use as my lock screen. So this is the first screen that you see when you open my phone up um, it is pretty standard, um, so I have messages, calendar, photos, camera, contacts, weather, clock, um, in clock I use this kind of feature on iOS 10, which is the bedtime clock thingy, it basically tracks how much you sleep and it can show you how long, like if you want eight hours of sleep, you need to be asleep. I need to be asleep by 11, so I get for eight hours to wake up at seven. So it's actually quite clever and you can like change the times that you go to bed and stuff like that. And yeah, I really like that and it tracks my sleep every night. So last night I had a good night's sleep. <laughs> and then I have maps, videos, iTunes store, app store, settings, reminders, which I make a lot of my video ideas on. I have a lot of videos <laughs> planned. I then also have news, which I use uh, sometimes, not all the time. Uh, it's to do with tax. <laughs> I also have then have wallet, where I've got my card, and I've also got my like Starbucks card and my Costa cards and stuff like that, and Boots and Superjug. Then I've got phone, productivity folder, which has got FaceTime, health books, and voice memos and podcasts in, which I don't really use. Podcasts I have on there, and I do have some podcasts saved. So I've got uh, Shane and Friends and Psychobabble but I've never actually properly listened to one. And then in the next folder I have utilities, I have notes, calculator, tips, compass and home. Um, and then in the, this one's literally called folder because <laughs> I'm not actually giving it a name. This is basically everything I don't use. So I've got watch, iTunes, you, iMovie, which I sometimes use. I probably should put that in like the video one, but well. And then find my iPhone, which I do have turned on. Along the next page, oh my God. So along the next page I have Facebook, Twitter, which you can follow me on Twitter, da, 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 there's my Twitter, oh my god how interesting, obviously Facebook's private, then I've got Snapchat which is, which is also private, Tumblr, I have made a Tumblr, um, but I haven't posted anything yet, so by the time this video is up I will have posted something, or reblogged a few things, so I'll put that in the link below, but at this current time, I don't have Tumblr, <laughs> but I do, but it's not, you know, for YouTube. Then I've got my YouTube app, which is obviously YouTube. I mean, it's what I'm on right now, so it's a bit obvious. <laughs> so there's me, you know, if you want to sub, whatever. Then, back onto the same screen, I've got Messenger, which is for Facebook, obviously. I've then got Netflix. The most recent thing I've been watching is Peep Show. <laughs> Peep Show is literally so hilarious. I've also been watching Haters Back Off, Louis Theroux, um, Chalet Girl, Black Mirror, which I need to finish. My favourite thing of all time to watch on Netflix that I had been told about and I've seen people mentioning on YouTube 
is Peaky Blinders. I watched it on here and I literally fell in love. It's like my favourite programme like of all time. And then I have Instagram. So you can follow me on there. This is my Instagram. I've got a lot of old posts on here actually. These are all super embarrassing. Oh my god, how cringe. <sighs> then I have a finance folder which is money stuff. Um, and then I have Lifestyle which is Clue which is a period tracking app because... Yeah, oh, I'm meant to get my period soon. <laughs> Yay! And then I've got Spotify, because I have Spotify Premium, um, and I literally use it all the time. Like, I don't actually really have any music on my phone, it's all on Spotify. I then have Crowdfire to, like, see who's sneakily and following me. I then have Dream Days, which is, like, a date tracking app. Um, I've then got some work stuff there. And then I've got Starbucks app, Costa app, Outlook. Badoo, which I don't even know why I downloaded. I downloaded because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna download a dating app just, just for the lulls. And I was like, I tried to download Tinder, but Tinder didn't let me because I'm not 18 yet. And then I've got Yubble, which I pretty much never use. You can follow me on it though if you want, not that I really ever use it. See, one picture, so interesting. <laughs> one post. <laughs> I've made Disney. It's kind of cute though, I've got a little halo, how cute is that? And then I've got the tube map whenever, for whenever I go to London so I know where I'm going. So then I have a photography folder which has VSCO cam. I edit a lot of my pictures on here. Um, you can follow me on here if you want. It's Char LLL, Char -l 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 -l. Um, so that is, those are my pictures. I then have photo grid which I just use to edit like grid pictures. I also have Boomerang to do those cool Instagram moving pictures. Play Memories which is my camera so I can sync photos to my camera. And then I have Dropbox, La La Lab which is for printing photos. You can use my code PGUCRNCV to get three five pounds off. So I'll put that in the description below. Then I have Avery, which is kind of good for like getting rid of a few spots. <laughs> and then I have Arcade, which I have Kim Kardashian's game in, which I literally used to be obsessed with. Now I'm not so much because I don't really go on it anymore. And it's gonna take ages to load, so I don't even know why I'm just letting this carry on. And then I have the Kylie and Kendall game app thing. And then I also have Episode, which is the story app, which is actually really, really fun. Um, I really enjoy reading these episodes, they're really fun. These are some of the ones I'm reading. <laughs> you wanna hit them up? <laughs> then I have Heads Up, the game where, you know, you do what am I, blah, blah, blah. Best Fiends, which I haven't played in a while. Merged, which I also haven't played in a while. And then Pokemon Go, because who actually in this world right now doesn't have Pokemon Go? That is my arcade one. And then I have Shopping, so I have New Look app, Forever 21 app, Miss Selfridge app, Misguided, Topshop, Depop, um, Amazon, Boohoo and ASOS and then H&M. Then I have a student life folder. So I've got NUS Extra app, the Uni Days app, Top Cashback. So when you pay for stuff, you get cash back. The driving theory test, which I don't actually need anymore because I passed my theory. I then have Pizza Hut, because what student doesn't need Pizza Hut? Um, Duolingo, which is a language learning app, which is actually really good, I highly recommend. Um, then I've got the timetable app, so I know where my lessons are. There we go, there we go. And then I've got delivery, which I've never actually used. Um, and I've also got Uber, which I've not actually used yet. I have got money for these ones though, so I've got like the first like £15 free or something like that. Then I have the entertainment folder, which has Vine in it, RIP. Um, all four, so I can watch Made in Chelsea if I miss it. Fitbit app, which I haven't actually been on in a while. I just use it to calculate my steps so I know how far I've walked and stuff like that. That, and then I've got SoundCloud, BBC iPlayer, Amazon Video, which I probably should delete because we're not meant to be subscribed to that anymore, but we are. Disney World, which is what I used when I went to Disney. Um, it's actually a really cool app, like it's new kind of-ish. Um, then I have Time Hop, so it will show me all my embarrassing old tweets and Facebook posts and everything like that. And then I have Bitmoji, which is actually also really cool. Um, you make your little your own emoji. So this is me. Look at that. How cute am I? It's a little leopard print coat and a pair of high he high knee boots. But they have like really cute emojis. So you can like there's vote ones. They have like special packs every 
like when there's a special thing going on. So that's the entertainment folder. Then I have a productivity folder, which has got OneDrive so I can send documents to my computer and like be doing it on my phone as well. Then I have Word so I can do that. Kimoji, which I bought and I don't even know why I've never used it. Um, studio, YouTube studio, so I can see like how many people have watched my videos and stuff like that and how many subscribers I've gained, how many likes, any comments I can reply to them. And then I have Survey Monkey, which is for surveys. I used it for an essay that I've got to do for school. Uh, then I've got Google, then I've got X Factor, which I use to vote if I ever feel like any of them are worth a vote because quite a lot of them have been quite crap recently. Um, then I have Wattpad. Um, I only downloaded that because I remembered I had some really old fan fictions on there that I wrote. I wrote like four, three years ago. And I just wanted to read them, so I was reading them and screenshotting them to my friends and laughing because they were horrific. So that is that. That's all the home screens. Um, along the bottom, I have WhatsApp, Mail, Safari, and Music. The recent song I've been listening to, I was listening to Hey Angel, of course. How very me. And then, on the little widget bit, on the side, um, I have weather, news, what lesson I would have next, <laughs> uh, any photos, recent group chat, um, up next, so when I next have work, um, music I listened to recently, when my cycle should next start, any dream days, cards, favourites. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys and you enjoyed watching me talk through all the rubbish that's on my phone and how I practically never use any of it because it's pointless. <laughs> if you want to follow me on any of my social media, there'll be a link below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you next week for a Christmas video. So be excited because Christmas is coming. So yeah, I will see you then. Bye guys.